Well, I'm glad I get to show you this. I'm here at my client's house. Uh, and what we're looking at here is a uh, previous uh, very large entertainment center that used to house a rear projection television. Uh, you know, and what was done here to allow a flat panel was this base cabinet was built right here to match what was previously existing uh, to give this new flat panel a, uh, a look as if though this unit was designed around it um, without rebuilding the whole thing. So you're looking at a 60 plus inch there, I believe it's a 62 inch uh, flat panel, turned out great. And here we're, we're dealing with, uh, we got a universal remote control base processor, uh, which is your, your master controller for the remote control, which allows all the automation to take place. Uh, we got a Xbox for the, for the grandkids. We're dealing with a Samsung Blu-ray player. This is the BDP 6500. Has all the streaming capabilities that are currently out. Uh, Netflix, Pandora, Hulu, um, Amazon, uh, shoot, you name it, it's pretty much there. And then the top of the line, uh, one of the top of the line receivers by DirecTV, this is the HR24 um, DVR. It's got a 250 gig hard drive and a really nice unit from DirecTV. Also allows multi-room sharing. And the, the main deal that powers it all here is the Marantz SR6006, which is also a multi-room uh, audio amplifier. And this rack is also an Apple TV. We also have a Netgear ProSafe router in the back and a host of other things that allow this all to work. Uh, you know, to uh, summarize the speakers, we have a complete true audio uh, set up front, which is the TC366 LCR ensemble. So behind these doors, you can see there's one behind each door, left, center, and right. And uh, you can see the clearance. I mean, it really turned out well. Uh, this thing really sounds great. Uh, now, as far as <clears throat> the sub, uh, we couldn't wire uh, the sub location where we wanted it, so we had to uh, tuck this, this speaker into the same cabinet. And considering the application, it really sounds good. Uh, so this rack... Uh, actually slides out, allows us to swivel it if we need to, comes all the way out, swivels, and we could uh, maintain the rack, dust it, um, you know, every, once a year, come in and clean it out. And if something was to fail, such as direct TV box or the direct TV service was uh, improved and they wanted to get a new box, um, the, the HR26 comes out, they're able to replace it without... Uh, too much difficulty. Uh, you know, you're not dealing with wires that you're intertangled and uh, filled with dust and everything else. This is very modular, very simple, very clean, and it makes everything, uh, you know, streamlined in, in the installation. It's more, a, it's more of a complete vehicle as opposed to a bunch of pieces to a vehicle that fit, you know, where they're not supposed to really be. So this guy here really kind of cleans it up. Uh, now in the back, as far as speakers, we're dealing with the same um, match set. We got the True Audio uh, TC366 uh, surround versions back here on the bookshelf. Turn out really nice there. Looks really good. Now as far as operating this system, very simple. Very simple. We're dealing with a universal remote control. This is the MX, the URC MX 900 remote, my most common seller just because it's a good price point and it's very durable, very durable. Single hand remotes are very, uh, is a smart thing to do. Two handed remotes are a little bit difficult to use on a daily basis unless you've got a big theater or something like that. These are simple. You can have it behind your head and change the channel if you wanted to. So to, to watch something, all you got to do is just turn the on button on. And I've programmed this so it automatically goes to DirecTV as soon as you hit, it on, or hit the on button. It usually takes about 10 seconds for it to turn on. It's on. You want to watch something else, it's as simple as hitting the little watch button right there. And that's your options of what you want to watch. So in this case, we're already watching DirecTV, so we're going to go ahead and watch the Blu-ray. Okay, so there it is. It becomes the Blu-ray remote control. We're done watching the Blu-ray. Hit the watch button. I think we want to watch um, 
the Apple TV right now. It's as simple as that. So when we're done, we hit the off button. Shuts everything off like it's supposed to. That's how remote controls are supposed to work. So when you're dealing with an uh, integrated system from something as simple as this, as a, a basic surround sound system to uh, something as elaborate as a multi-room audio and video distribution system, the remote controls should function just like that, regardless of how big the system is. When you want to watch something, it's a single, it's a single press. And uh, when you want to shut it off, you, you hit an off button and the whole thing goes off. Uh, if it doesn't operate that smoothly, then uh, you, you need to call Sonic Interiors and we'll take care of you. So have a great day. Bye-bye.